I'm going to show you how you can do an in-place upgrade of Windows Server. In this guide, I'm going to be upgrading from Windows Server 2019 to the Windows Server 2022. However, whichever version you are upgrading from or to, it's the same process. Something to keep in mind is that you can only upgrade two versions at a time. So you can go from Windows Server 2016 to 2022. However, if you are running Server 2012 R2, then you would need to upgrade to either 2016 or 2019 first before then upgrading to Windows Server 2022. Before starting the upgrade, there are a couple of things to check. The first being to make sure that the server is fully updated and that if you reboot the server, it starts up and everything works correctly. You'll also want to check that the Windows Server version that you're upgrading to supports all of the features that you want to use and then any of your third party applications that are installed on the server work with the new version of Windows Server. Lastly, you'll want to check that you have a working backup of the server. Just in case something fails or goes wrong, you'll need to have some kind of restore or rollback procedure. Once all those things are checked, the last thing you'll need is the Windows Server 2022 install media. I've got the Server 2022 ISO, so I'll be using that. Now I've just copied this to the desktop of the server that I'm going to upgrade. And then I'm just going to right click and mount it. And then we can see that it gets mounted as a drive. If you don't want to copy it to the server and you've got a virtual machine, you can just use the hypervisor and then mount it to the virtual machine that way. However, I've just copied it to the server. Once it's mounted, you can either double click it or open the mounted drive and then run the setup application file. Once the installation wizard has started, you can press next and then that will check for any updates for the server. And if there are any updates, you'll just have to go through and install them. Once that's finished, you'll need to enter a product key for Windows Server 2022 and then press next. And then it should automatically detect the addition. So in this case, I've got Windows Server data center and I'll just select the desktop experience rather than the core. I'll then press next. We'll have to agree to the license terms by pressing accept. Now we've got two options on what to keep. We can keep all of our files, settings and apps, or we can keep nothing. If you're keeping nothing, you might as well just delete the virtual machine and recreate it. But in this case, we want to keep all the files, settings and apps. So the only thing that gets upgraded is the operating system in the background, and then everything else should stay the same. So then we can press next, and then it will go through and check any prerequisites, just make sure everything's okay. So we'll just wait for this to finish. Now that that's finished all of the checks, we can see that we're going to install Windows Server 2022 data center with the desktop experience, and we're going to keep all of our files, settings, and apps. Now all we need to do is press install. However, beware that once you press install, there is no going back unless you restore from a backup or from a checkpoint. So I'm just going to press install, and then it will start installing Windows Server 2022 over the top. This can take anywhere from a few minutes to an hour, so we'll just leave this to complete and then we'll be back when it's done. Now that's done, it's taken us to our login screen. So what we need to do now is log into the server. And hopefully this should log us in just fine and everything is still as we left it. However, it's been upgraded to Windows Server 2022. So if we open up a command prompt and then type winver, we can see that has been upgraded. That looks good to me. And then all we need to do now is check that any applications work correctly. So I did have IIS set up on this and we can see that is still running. I'm returning the web page. So any applications that were installed in this should also still be working. Now what you probably want to do is just go through and check any other applications and any other installed roles and features work correctly and then you should be good to go. So that is how you can do an in-place upgrade of Windows Server.